Where are we going, you might be asking yourself? Or maybe not, but I'm gonna tell you. We are going to the grocery store to make, well, to get the stuff to make Reuben sandwiches, but not really Reuben, because I also found out today that um, if you don't use corned beef and you use either pastrami or turkey, it's called a Rachel. So we're gonna go make, well, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take y'all with me if you are so inclined to watch, which I need to watch the road because I, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna watch the road. I should not be, I'm not an advanced vlogger, so um, I should not be driving and vlogging. So I'm gonna end it here and I'll see y'all at the store. Okay, all right, so we're here. Park. Do you park at the further from the front of the door or do you park closer? It's a beautiful day today. It's like 63 degrees. Um, so I'm skeptical. I don't park super close, but um, I'm parked behind the cart return and I don't know if people are going to be rude and leaving their cards out. Anyway, well, let's go to the store. Let's go in here. I don't need very many things. So I think one bag. <laughs> the bag should be good. Okay. Oh, I need my money. Oh my God, y'all. I can't do this at the same time. Yes, um, could I have a half a pound of the oven roasted turkey, like thinly sliced? The Dieter Watson? The Dieter Watson? Mm -hmm. Half a pound thinly sliced. Yes, and a uh, half a pound of Swiss cheese, and that's it. Stick him in this cover with a host pipe on him. Stick him in this cover with a host pipe on him. Stick him in this cover with a host pipe on him early in the morning. Way, hey, get up your raises. Way, hey, get up your raises. Way, hey, get up your raises early in the morning. So, am I the only one? Um, actually, my husband, because he's the one that got me started on this. <laughs> Which is a good thing, not a bad thing. Get to the point, Chantel. Um, first thing you do before you touch or do anything other than obviously you have to get into the car is uh, hand sanitize. Um, so I'll do it again just for extra, extra. Um, also, I kind of feel a kind of way about 
having to, what are y'all thoughts on self-checkout? Like initially, I think it was a good thing, especially, you know, if you use it for what its original purpose was, which is you only have a couple items, maybe like five, six items. You just, you want to get in, you want to get out. You shouldn't have to stand in the line with people with carts full of things and you only have just a few. Totally get that. But now it's like they're turning in all, no matter if you have a lot or not, if you, whatever, you have to check it out yourself. So I kind of feel a way about that. Number one, and most importantly, besides it just being annoying, because I don't mind, I mean, I don't like it when I have like 25 things I gotta scan myself. Um, but that sounds very spoiled. It is, it is. But there's a point. The whole point is it's taking jobs away from people who were employed to be able to check you out. Anyway, I don't know why I'm on a rant about that. I don't know why it bothered me so much, but I was annoyed and um, it doesn't matter. I made it out of there despite buying the one thing that, oh, I forgot something. <gasps> Do I wanna stop somewhere else? <sighs> Is it worth turning around for? I don't think so. No. I wanted to get like a fun drink, like a ginger beer. Um, staying away from the real alcohol stuff for a minute. Um, but I wanted to have something fun to drink. So I thought ginger beer would be perfect. But um, I'm not going back. I'm not turning around. And the, I highly doubt that the little tiny grocery store in town is going to have it. So, oh well. Oh well. Anywho, um, yeah, see y'all at home and uh, we'll start putting this sandwich together. Okay, so I started the process off by making a homemade coleslaw. Thanks to my little sis for the recipe. It was so easy and it was so good. And then um, you marinate it in the refrigerator for 15 minutes. And um, while it's marinating, I put on my Irish music and I'm having a good time because why not? You know, it's on theme, put on the Irish music and I, I had a grand old time. And then I started making the sandwich. So you put Russian dressing on the inside of both ends of the bread and then you strain the coleslaw. The, the recipe said you should strain it so that it's not like soggy and wet, which was a great tip. And um, then I put the turkey and the Swiss cheese on top of the bread with the coleslaw on top of the cheese. And then you put the other side on. Um, close it up and then you would butter it just like you would do a grilled cheese, right? And then you'll throw it in your hot pan. And again, like a grilled cheese, brown it on one side, flip it over, brown the other side, and then you have this delicious looking thing. Now, looks good, yes, but how does it taste? When I tasted it, <coughs> you guys, oh my God. Oh my God, it was so, so good so good i totally recommend this um what was not good was that pickle so i ended up not eating that at all it was ugh, it was soggy it was gross so um since i forgot my ginger beer and i didn't have any wine i decided to put my sparkling uh water in a wine glass because again why not everything tastes better in a wine glass and um yeah so i I would definitely make this again. And um, yeah, cheers. So, oh, of course, we forgot the dessert, right? So these are the Irish potatoes and it's basically coconut covered with cinnamon. And the cinnamon's kind of like a truffle. And it was okay. It was, I liked it, it was good. Would I get it again? Probably not, but it was good. So it's hours later and I realized that I forgot to end the vlog some way somehow um so this is my ending um 
10 out of 10 would recommend the Rachel. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, you saw how easy it was to make it, so I hope you all make it also. And um, yeah, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And I will be back one day soon to annoy you with another video. So stay tuned.